you start with your known. 3.1 times 10 to the 24 molecules of O2. All of this should be written. Times line. You bring down molecules of O2. Now, since we are not changing what it is, we still want this to be O2 and we want it to be liters at STP. We can do this in one step. If we do this in one step, the liters gets the 22.4 in front of it because it's at STP and the molecules get 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. Now we need to put that in parentheses so our calculator doesn't get all angry at us. And when you do this, you will get the answer of 128 liters of O2. So start with your known, bring down your units and your identity. Since we have the same thing that we want, this is one step, put the unit that we want and then fill in the numbers and solve. This one's a bit trickier. I have milliliters of hydrochloric acid to molecules of hydrochloric acid. We're keeping the same substance, but I'm going from milliliters to molecules. Notice this is not at STP, and it gives us our density. You need to get to something that can get us to molecules, but you are given the density right here. That is what we're going to start with. Now, when we are dealing with density, this is 1.19 grams equals one milliliter. So I'm going to take my milliliters down and change it to grams. For every one milliliter, there is 1.19 grams. I then am going to use a mole conversion. I am going to take my grams of HCl down and change that to molecules of HCl. Whenever I do molecules to grams, the molecules is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and the grams is off of the periodic table. Chlorine weighs 35.45, that is the mass of chlorine, and hydrogen's mass is 1.01. .01. So I just add those together and find out that Hydrochloric acid weighs 36.46. Take my milliliters times my grams divided by my grams times my molecules and I get the answer of 1.26 times 10 to the 24th power molecules of HCl. We start with 5.6 moles of O2. We then times line and we bring moles of O2 down. Now here we have mole and we want to go to moles of something else. We can do that in one step using this thing called stoichiometry where we go moles of one thing to moles of another. When we do mole to mole we need to get our numbers not from our heads, but from the equation. So for here, it says there are four CO2s for every seven O2s. So when you do mole to mole, you need to use the chemical equation you're given. And we go mole to mole specifically to change our identity from one thing to another. So instead of focusing on oxygen, I'm now going to be focusing on carbon dioxide. And remember the three steps to stoic. One, get to the mole. If you're not already in mole, we are, so we didn't have to do that. Number two, fix your identity using stoic. And three, fix your units using a mole conversion and this would also be a mole conversion. So again, typical stoichiometry problem is mole, stoic, mole, but this one was already in mole and it wanted mole, so we basically just had to do step two, our stoichiometry. Divide by seven times by four, you get 3.2. Creating the equation, 
we've got potassium being reacted with hydrophosphoric acid. Uh, hydrophosphoric means this is hydrogen phosphide or H3P. This is going to react and it's going to make something. Now remember, this is single replacement. The potassium goes against the hydrogen and it wins. Hydrogen is then put alone, but we know hydrogen can never be alone, so it's H2 is as alone as hydrogen gets. And then we're going to put our um, potassium with our phosphide. There's going to be three potassiums with our phosphide because potassium is a plus one charge. Phosphorus is a minus three charge. So there we go. And then we just balance this out by putting a two here, a three here, a two here, getting our phosphoruses, and finally six potassiums at the beginning to find out the volume of gas at STP. The gas made in this case is H2, as H2 is the only gas here. We start with the whole 4.02 times 10 to the 23rd potassium atoms of K. All right, that is our known value. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the atoms of K. I'm going to bring that down like I always do. And I'm going to change this to moles of K, because remember, we always want to get to the mole. So we're going to have our 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. I don't know why my screen keeps doing that, but I'll fix it later. To one mole. Now that we are in mole, we can use stoic to go from our moles of K to our moles of H2, since that is our gas. By the problem, there are three H2s for every six Ks. And then I'm back to the mole because I do not want moles of H2. I want liters of H2. For every one mole, there's 22.4 liters because this is a mole conversion. So there it is. We built the equation. We had our typical three steps, mole, stoic, mole. And there we go. Remember, mole steps change the unit, and stoic steps change the identity or whatever substance we're working on. So change the unit, change the identity, change the unit. There we go. And that gives us our final, oh yeah, you, sorry, you probably want to see the final answer. I'm sorry, I'm like staring at it at my calculator. We've got three sig digs, so we are at 7.48 liters of H2. Had to do some rounding there. There you go.